When designing an AV system, choosing the digital transport backbone is one of the most important decisions a designer will make. At BiAmp, we take a protocol agnostic approach, allowing the system designer to freely choose their endpoints with the confidence that our devices will support their designs. In this video, we will discuss how our compiler works for you when designing systems with AVB endpoints. First, let's take a look at how explicit AVB works. Let's say you wanted to send 48 channels of audio from a front of house location to an amplifier rack for a house of worship system. In this example, we will use two server IOs to accomplish this. Here you will see inputs and outputs totaling 48 by 48. Because we have selected explicit AVB blocks for this example, we will need to set up both the talkers and the listeners. Additionally, we will need to use a third-party AVB manager to assign each input to its respective output, which is analogous to configuring a matrix mixer. This can be a highly time-consuming task as it requires a considerable amount of configuration. It should be noted that most digital media transports rely on this explicit configuration setup. Now let's look at how our compiler enables implicit AVB routing natively. In this example, we are still creating a 48 by 48 channel digital snake, but instead of using AVB.1 blocks, we will simply drop in the input and output blocks, connect each signal path, and hit compile. You can see by the blue dotted lines that we have created a digital path from one chassis to the next by connecting the nodes and running the compiler. There is no explicit configuration required. Simply connect your Tessera devices, run the compiler, and let it do the work for you. That's the power of the Tessera platform. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insights, tutorials, and answers to frequently asked questions.